Here is um, the uh, former Bill Clinton and former Donald Trump advisor, Dick Morris. Uh, well, I call him a uh, toe sucker, but I want people to know I'm not I'm not kink shaming. Um, it's just he's that was just one of his descriptive. His, it was descriptive. Um, when, when you have to try and impress someone that you're paying to hang out with you, that is, I think, a little bit of a problem. Like, I, you know, like I, 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 I cast no judgment on, 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 on sex work or, or people who, you, you, you know, respectfully use sex, you know, uh, the services of a sex worker. I just feel like when you're paying somebody to hang out with you and you still got to impress them, uh, yeah, you know that's indicative of, I think of a larger problem and that's what uh, he uh, supposedly did when he would get on the phone with Bill Clinton when he was um, with a sex worker and just to like impress them um, but here he is uh, on Newsmax um, and they are uh, they're <laughs> they're railing against the selection of Mitch Landrieu as the coordinator of the infrastructure bill rollout. I mean, they are really digging deep for this. I don't think this Oof. is, but here. I'm of Katrina. When they packed them all into the Coliseum, or the, uh, the, uh, the Astro, the, the um, whatever it was called, the uh, Houston, Houston Stadium. Houston, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and people were, st in New Orleans, I'm sorry, the Superdome. And people were starving to death. People were, uh, were living in filth. And uh, they had to be evacuated. And he was the lieutenant governor, part of the administration, that was in charge of this. Now, the other guy, Buttigieg, who I personally call Booty Boy, hope you don't mind, uh, his, the last budget what? he was in charge of, for one second. South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> I mean, this is just a, like, it's just unbelievable. First off, the idea that, and, and, Katrina was a disaster, and it was really the uh, federal, uh, the FEMA, that was a complete disaster. And uh, in the privatization that was, went on, and the idea that the lieutenant governor blew it uh, during uh, Hurricane Katrina is pretty much a reach. It's, the, it's well documented. It was the federal government's right. terrible and, response. And the idea that like you're going to attack Landry from something that was... 16 years ago i mean it's just sort of uh, I, well, a bit bizarre. convoluted but uh i love how he's like i hope you don't mind i call him booty boy and Whoa. then and then schmidt's rob schmidt's face is like wow what is the response there even as a crazy conservative do I just, why am i supposed to laugh am I... I guess the real question would be like why why you call him booty boy I, I just like, I mean, you were talking about the sex workers that had to deal with him before. They should have gotten paid extra for the emotional labor of having to deal with no this human being. No kidding. Emotional I, labor is real. I, I was going to say, like, I hope they uh, upcharge this and guy. And that voice. Uh, all right, so go back. Let's let's catch that uh, booty boy again. This is just so sad. <laughs> oh, yes, right. oh, and incidentally, a reminder. Um, this guy was um, very influential in the uh, Clinton administration. So he's talking about that something that happened 16 years ago and is using 16 year old uh, booty, homophobia you don't mind. as well. Booty what a throwback. Boy. That's what I call him, booty boy, because he's a father and has two kids. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Starving to death, people were uh, were living in filth, and uh, they had to be evacuated. And he was the lieutenant governor, part of the administration, that was in charge of this. Now, the other guy, Buttigieg, who I personally call Booty Boy, hope you don't mind, uh, his, the last budget <laughs> he was in charge of was South Bend, Indiana. That's $389 million a year. Mm. Now he's in charge of $500 billion a year, three extra zeros, with no administrative experience to be able to deal with it. And not only is he in charge, Rob, but he is now probably the most powerful man in Washington. What? I mean, I think there's some truth to the fact that uh, Buttigieg has a tremendous amount of, uh, of power as a function of having an actual infrastructure bill. And uh, most transportation secretaries do not get that kind of like one time big uh, bump in the budget and have a, But that's the only thing that is even remotely sensical that uh, that uh, Dick Morris said on there. But I, I suppose yeah. good for them for getting that granular on this stuff. But they, it's it. Well, for Newsmax. 
with the Japanese yeah. booty a little bit. A little bit too granular because I feel like I don't know who Dick Morris would want to replace Buttigieg with, but I imagine I probably wouldn't be super happy. Booty boy. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> booty boy, I think you want to. I can't wait to hear Pete Buttigieg's response because he gets in the mix of this stuff. I mean, I don't think Buttigieg is going to respond to Dick Morris on Newsmax. I, mean, I, I hope he does. I'm, I got to say, I'm a little bit embarrassed that we're even covering it. <laughs> But but when 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 Dick Morris calling somebody booty boy and the both of them like we're so transgressive. I mean I can't. That's believe That's the it. thing is like I I just think about this how they're branding themselves compared to Fox News and it's like I guess we'll go there. We'll say things like booty. We'll boy. say booty boy. <laughs> <laughs> just unbelievable. It's, uh, uh, it's where the canceled Fox hosts go to survive. Um, like Lou Dobbs still hasn't been canceled yet. Just wait till he gets a show. I call him booty boy. I mean, like, they'd say that because they can't just call him like the F slur for gay people. Yeah, right, exactly. Again, they're like back to the let's go Brandon thing. They love trafficking in encoded language oh, and, and secret. We're, we're going to play secret code for our little, little homophobic jokes. That's I didn't even, I didn't even actually even pick up on that, but he's just saying, he's like, I call him ass guy. Ass yeah. Boy. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first, Sam? Who's on first? Like, honestly, this guy, how old is Dick Morris? Like a million years old? Wait, like, how don't did you, you ever not grow pick out? up on that? Uh, you know, it's just like, I, I it's, like, a, it's, it's a, the a, most it, juvenile thing I could imagine a full grown man saying on television. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. Let me before. intermix my, uh, my, my political analysis with reminding you that that some gay men uh, are involved in ass play. I mean, come on. It's like, he, he's a, he's a, I just don't understand how these people like wake up and like, like, like uh, uh, 74 years old. He's a Columbia University graduate. There you go. There you go. I thought you were going to say professor. <laughs> we must be so proud. Another, another just glowing example of our institutions oh, being top notch. I'm so glad that we herald them to the degree that we do. Stinky says liberals spent the better part of five years saying F, F Trump getting worked up about let's go Brandon is almost as pathetic as thinking it's clever. True. I'm not worked up about people saying let's go Brandon. I'm just saying like, why not just say F Biden? Like, yeah, like, say fuck like Biden. The, 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 the ridiculous part about the, and, and maybe you're not talking about me, but uh, the ridiculous part of the F Brandon, the, the let's go Brandon thing is just like, how juvenile are you? Just say F Biden. Like you think you're doing something like that's like, honestly, it's like, like I have this relationship. Like the, my, my eight year old son has this relationship with words. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's this they, means something else. And so it's transgressive. It's like why they like to flash the, uh, the white power three fingers. Yes, sign, right. Yes. It's the exact same game of like, look at this having a shared meaning joke. That's funny to people. Well, I mean, and, and you've talked about this before, how Limbaugh just trained millions of conservatives to, okay, if the politician or if someone like myself or now Tucker Carlson is saying something, like, look for the deeper meaning here. We know we can't say this publicly, even though it's all true. So the coding is, is just downstream from that. I, it just can't get over it. Like, like, like Saul, it's the same energy. Last night, Saul goes to me, he goes, hey, um, he said something like, call me stupid. And I'm like, I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't know why I do it. Because you know, just go, call me stupid. And I'm like, okay, you're stupid. And he goes, I know I am, but uh, I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> and he was so proud of himself. Like he had, like, like he had flipped, like done this jujitsu on me. <laughs> he goes, call me fat. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, yeah, are, but what am I? And he was like, the, 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 the pride that he felt in himself, like there was like in his face. And I was just like, that's amazing. Like, first of all, like you're definitely my kid. But, and then I was like, that is the same exact energy as like dick morris going like i call him booty boy like honestly like he's so proud of yourself so now when you up. look at your son when he makes a silly joke i think about dick you're, morris. you're going to dick see toes. yeah <laughs> aren't you happy that you do this for a living i'm gonna say your, to him like, the childlike innocence of saul is now going to be forever intertwined with dick morris i'm shitty sorry and I, like it's i think <laughs> both of that energy is just sort of like a little bit like ridiculous but you can play it off with an eight-year-old boy 
That's all I'm saying. Well, that's like the Bugaloo Boys. I mean, think about it. Like the Proud Boys, the Bugaloo Boys, they all have their little costumes. They just get yeah. in. They have their little clubs and they go become like white supremacists. Listen, Kyle Rittenhouse was just a little boy. That's all he was, guys. It's it's not just cover. It's 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 not just like coding. It's cover. It's like, oh, they're just boys. Boys yeah. being boys. You know, 45-year-old man, 50-year-old man who's like, I'm going to set up a group where you got to name your favorite cereals and you get your butt slapped. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep punching you in the arm until you name your favorite cereals. What? <laughs> Seriously? No, that's how we're going to show how tough we are. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. Final call of the day. I just get so amazed by I, these. Booty Boys like, is the next Bugalo Boys, maybe. When right? I see an eight-year-old boy, like, have that kind of pride in something so silly, I'm like, oh, no, whatever. But I mean, like, even for an eight-year-old, it's sort of like, really, dude? <laughs> you got past this like a year or two ago? Like, <laughs> you didn't need your butt wiped anymore? Like, come on.